Hi, Pam here, your own personal fitness trainer. So today, this video is going to be six workout habits you need to drop fast. So anyway, in a moment, I'm going to share with you what they are. So I have my notebook with me. I took notes. So the first one you want to give up is doing the elliptical. And the reason for that is because the elliptical can be very boring and it can cause you to slack off. And you can just sort of, you could start out on a good pace, but you're just gliding along and eventually it you slow, you start slowing down on that. It's easy to do on the elliptical. But the other reason, more importantly, is it doesn't use your natural body's movement. So it's actually working against your body. You would rather use a piece of equipment that uses your natural body motion, and that one isn't. Good reason not to use it, okay? And I'm not saying it does burn calories, but those are the two reasons uh, that you can slow down and get boring in the natural body. Why? Why? It's not so hot. Not so great. Okay? So now give me an idea what you could go with. You could go with the treadmill. That's usually your natural body movement. Or you could go to do 20 minutes of a cross-training workout. You know, doing like some burpees, some jump squats, uh, some jump rope, some mountain climbers some kickboxing moves, okay? They're very effective. And it'll rev up your workout. All right, number two habit you should drop is working out for a long period of time but at a moderate pace. So let's say you work out an hour, 45 minutes. It would be so much better and more effective if you worked out 30 minutes or you know 20 minutes 20 is the least 20 to 30 minutes but do like interval training interval training is like short bursts of energy so an example would be that say you're on the treadmill and you're walking for two minutes doing a walk pace then you do a short burst of a sprint for 30 seconds then you go to a walk pace again, two minutes. Then you go to a jog pace, a couple minutes. Then after that uh, short burst sprint, 30 seconds, then go put it on an incline. Do that. Incline will get you in a different way. Go back to a sprint, do a two, and then try for a minute sprint. But what you're doing is it's a shorter workout, which is great but it's a different pace but you got to put short bursts of energy that'll burn a lot of calories it's called interval training okay that'll shorten up your workout time all right number three is too much cardio and too little strength training okay now strength training will not only get your heart rate up but it'll it also burn calories and a lot of them but it will also build your lean muscle mass. That's what burns fat. That's what gives you your shape and tone and firmness to your body. And it also will burn calories long after the workout. So when you go home and you're sitting on the couch, you're still burning calories. When you do cardio, you burn them when you're there and that's the end of it. Okay? So you want to get in the strength training. Number four is you're hydrating yourself with sports drinks. Eliminate that. Why? Because they're full of sugar and calories. So let's say you're lacking in energy and that's why you did it. Well, go choose a healthier snack 45 minutes before you work out. And I'll give you one little tip. Go try a, a piece of toast with almond butter on it. Okay, check that out. All right, 
Number five is lollygagging when you go to the gym. So in other words, first and foremost, have a set plan for your workout. Know what you're going to do before you go there. Then put your phone away. No texting. Either if you have to keep your phone with you, but don't, don't text. I never have my phone with me at the gym, you know, because you could be tempted. So I keep it in the locker room. I never take it out on the floor. Why? Well, I don't want to be interrupted. I want to get to my workout, focus on it, and then I want to get out of there. So eliminate texting. Put your phone away. You can do all of it later. You'll get out of the gym faster, and then you go do it, okay? So you don't want to do that. And then, Joe, when you're there, just make the best use of your time. So, you know, if you want to chit-chat, that's fine. I do sometimes. Uh, I do it only on my rest time. Do it when you rest time, if you need, need a rest time from what you just did, okay? If you're lifting weights and you need to rest, then you have a little chit-chat if you need to, okay? And if you make the best use of your time, you'll get in and out, and you'll like it better, okay? So no lollygagging. And number six and the last one is doing the same exercises over and over. You can't. So whether it be your cardio routine, once you have a routine going with cardio, after a while you have to do something else with it. You can't keep doing the same thing. That's why I said try a different piece of equipment, a different type of cardio workout, try interval training on your piece of equipment, but you do need to change it up. After a while, it gets monotonous, you're going to get bored, and you're also not going to get the results after a while. Your body becomes very accustomed to things. And you apply that same thing to weight training. If you're weight training, you change up the workouts. So you're doing a certain bicep and a chest exercise, you can't keep doing it. Same one over and over. You have to do another chest exercise, another bicep. Same with the reps and same with the weight. Can't keep doing the same weight. Got to change reps, got to change the weight. Eventually, it's not effective. That's why I have all these workouts. These on my videos and other people's videos too, not just mine. I have tons of all kinds. I have circuit training, different cardio way to burn, weight training, all kind of workouts. No equipment, equipment, variety. You do need that. Go into my playlist. They're all there, categorized. Okay, it'll help you find it better and easier. So anyway, help that. Ho uh, I hope that helps. And uh, I hope it motivates you and I hope you think on some of these workout habits. Okay? All right. And anyway, I have this old training shirt on again. I still wear it. It's cold today. But anyway, it's when I used to train there. So anyway, uh, until next time, I'll see you. And goodbye. Ta-ta.